It is not without merit to pick Bull Set yeah. by any means. This is a team that, of course, they are led by Calm and Stokely, who have scored uh, a lot of goals together. They, at one point, had a combination that would have made the likes of even the Knights and teams like Barca and the RLCS yeah. a little bit jealous. But they have cooled off a little bit, and they, they had a match last week where they did not play nearly to the level that has been expected of them. So right. this is going to be a nice little bounce back for them and one they need if they want to finish in the top two. At both end, I mean, really a team that just came and bursted through the ceiling onto the scene, surprisingly enough. And Taroko, he's going to deny him and get the first goal. Oh, I have teammates? No, just... It's a great challenge by Corrupted G, but Chiroko, he is always going to yeah. be there. And Ever the Optimist scores 10 seconds in. Right. Chaos Esports Club trying to set the tone. And Stax, I want to talk about it. I mean, you said that Chaos, they have the chance, and you think they're going to make the run, this late season run, to really, you know, make a name whenever they have failed to do so, so much in, this, in the beginning of the season. And they definitely have the schedule to do that. After this game, they have upper 90 and linked up. So if they want a chance in terms of, you know, statistically and who you think should actually win, it is probably going to be chaos for those last two, which makes this bull send match even more important. And Taroko again puts one in. And this time it is Mektos who gets the assist. That's just Stokely being left in an impossible spot. He's expecting a shot, no doubt. And as soon as that pass goes across, he yeah. is dead to rights. But yeah, this this chaos team out to a great start against Bull Sand, and as you mentioned, they this is the last of that murderer's row type of schedule. Yeah. And to go to five games against all the other heavy hitters, not every other team in the league is doing that. You're getting some very valuable games on your game differential, and that's going to come back to help them a lot. If they're able to get to For five sure. and four, yeah. but there is a long way to go before we're talking about chaos at five and four. They still have to close this game out. And we've seen Bullsend put up goals in bunches. This will come out of the corner. And Corrupted G thought about challenging. Instead, he'll give away to Mekos. Taroko is waiting on the side. He's going to rush back. And now the ball headed straight back into the Bullsend end. And it's going to stay there for a while because Chaos Esports Club they are circling the wagons and almost scoring there was Corrupted G. Chaos, they have been running away with the possession game. Really great passes. I love what they're doing in the corner and how fast they're getting this ball into the midfield. It's really what's helped them, especially with that second goal from Taroko. Well, now Stokely trying to play his way through. He's stopped by Corrupted G, but he can't get past Calm. And Taroko has missed this out of the corner, and Corrupted G had to rush back in a hurry. A rare miss from Taroko. We know that he and Mektos yeah. are a deadly duo. And I really think it's that synergy that has paid off so well for them. Adding a Corrupted Gabe, I mean, or Corrupted G, sorry. Just, it's a habit calling oh, Corrupted I, Gabe. Hey, hey, he was a. Uh, he was equal with you once yeah. upon a time. You were both players at a very, very high level. That's going to be sent away. And that's what I'm saying. He's been in this situation. If there's anybody to be, you know, kind of like a liquefied player to adjust to any play style you need to fit in, it's going to be Corrupted G. Mekdos trying to spike down on one. Now Taroko to center for, for a moment, I thought himself, but he did have Corrupted G waiting. And now Stokely has missed this. Corrupted G very quickly into the offensive end, and Taroko slams on the brakes. For once in his life, he will go back. A good read from Calm there. Intercepting the pass, getting in the way, and now they have pressure all because of that interception, but it still seems as though chaos. They're strong on defense, not letting up, and still, look at these cross-pitch passes. They go into the corner, and then they get a great pass inward, and it's almost too fast and too high to even have anybody in the middle. Taroko and Mektos have had a good week so far, but it's Stokely who scores here, and he just had a defender really struggling yeah. on the back wall. Corrupted G ran out of real estate. Stokely, one of the top four strikers 
in the league right now, averaging about .8 goals per game. And he really is the guy we're going to look at if we're going to see any difference on the offensive side. Corrupted G for himself. Doesn't need a teammate. He scores immediately off the kickoff. Another response, or excuse me, the first response actually against Bullsend. Another, I mean, it's a kickoff. It feels very routine because at the beginning we did see the first goal just was so fast from Taroko. Right when it looked like Bullsend was going to get back into this game, KRC Sports Club there to knock them down yep. a peg. And now here is Corrupted G, who oh, has come 50. alive on the offensive end over the past couple of weeks. And that's the second challenge that Gabe has, I keep doing it, Corrupted G has really just outshined the, uh, the enemy defense. It's just those challenges. The first goal from Taroko was actually off of Corrupted G's challenge. So this will be Mektos trying to find Corrupted G, or at least get that ball centered for anybody. And there is Alexander, or Taroko, if you prefer. Yeah. And now it will be Mektos retreating, trying to run lead blocker calm. Now Corrupted G looking to put the finishing touches on game one. And what a start this would be for Chaos. Again, in a series they have to win, maybe even if they're looking at top six the way this season has gone. This will be sent away by Taroko, and more possession for Chaos means fewer opportunities for Bull Send. That might have been the last one right there because they've got to score right now to have a chance at a kickoff goal to tie, and they do not. Seven seconds and counting, and Chaos Esports Club are going to take game one, and man, did they look good and do yeah. it. Taroko was flying everywhere, and it paid off. But on the other end, it feels like Bullsen, they're starting to gather some kind of momentum. The pressure has been a lot stronger than what we saw at the beginning of this game one. And I think the demos, the physical plays were really coming out bull send. They got that first goal with Stokely, the main striker. Like I said, they're going to be looking for him if they're, they're, they want any chance right now in this series. But Chaos, like you said, they're strong. And, and it's weird because a team like Chaos, with the record they have, you just don't understand how it happens. But then you look at all the game fives they went to, all the teams they did play. And right now, this is the time for them to make a run in the season. Stokely had a big game for bull send. He had five shots. His teammates won a piece. Not good for Bull Send. It looked like Chaos just had a stranglehold on yeah. that game for much of it. There was that stretch where Stokely scored, and it looked like, okay, Bull Send, they're done playing games now. This is the Bull yeah. Send that we expect to see. And then Corrupted G scoring immediately off the kickoff just dashed any of their hopes. Looking ahead to game two, obviously don't give up kickoff goals. That's yeah. easier said than done at this Definitely. level, it seems. But what else does... Bull send have to do to push that game behind them. I mean, it's all about cutting off the passes. I think we saw Calm do it a couple of times in that in that first game, was being in the way of, of those cross-pitch passes that Chaos have been so good. And it's really hard, actually, because the way that Chaos are doing it is they're doing it, it, it has a lot of power behind it, meaning, you know, trying to predict and be in that spot is going to be risky because if you miss the, the interception, it's going to end up being a goal because you're out of place and there's so much space for Chaos to make use of. And that's where it comes down to being aggressive, being in their faces, and not even letting them actually make the pass. If you can beat him to the ball, then that's really all that matters right now. But Chaos, looking strong. Bull send. If it goes by anything that we've seen so far in, in all the series mostly today, it's that they're going to have a strong response here in game two. Taroko could not make contact coming off the flip reset. And the shot from Mektos is blocked away by a couple of Bull send defenders. And that is how we start game number two. They scored 10 seconds in did chaos in game one. They do not score nearly as early this time around, but they're gonna have another chance on the offensive end if Taroko can control this. And lucky for Bull Sand, Calm was right there to stop him. Now to Stokely, there is Stokely! And he gets the second goal for Bull Sand. And here's the response, carrying the momentum from the first game. What a pass from Calm, beating out the defender. And then Stokely, the finisher, the cleanup man himself comes in for the shot. If you were watching on the, the B stream, you would have seen, uh, this would have been over the weekend, you would have seen Calm reminding all of us that his name is short for communications. What a nice, friendly, PG-friendly guy. 
This will be Corrupted G having the ball taken away from him. Jiroko does have a full tank of boost, and he may need it because Corrupted G and Mekdos having a lot of trouble with that ball at midfield. He will find Corrupted, though, and that pass did not have the legs to reach Mekdos. Stokely will have that drop down, and Corrupted G bangs it away. Stokely could have gotten a double touch there. Actually, had that set up. It's not enough boost, I don't think. So far, Chaos, they've been stuck in their own end. Need to break out, connect something. But right now, look at Bull Send right there. Even we saw a huge stop from Bull Send. They're keeping the pressure. Corrupted G out of the corner, trying to center, and that's well blocked by the defense of Bull Send. Now Stokely rushing onto one. That's going to be intercepted by Corrupted G. Well done by the defense of Chaos as they try to keep this just a one goal deficit and they'll turn their defense into offense and it's Corrupted G remaining involved in the attack. Even off the double commit, I didn't expect this to go their way, but Corrupted G, he just keeps following up and manages to snipe an open net on the side of Bullsen. And that, that's a, a little bit weird. You'd expect somebody to be rotating back there, mainly after the double commit. And yet Corrupted G, he's, he's happy with that. Teams have combined for seven shots in less than two minutes. Buckle up and expect more of the same. Stokely will get another shot, and he dropped one right onto Mekdos. Another great challenge by Corrupted G, but he does not have the boost to chase it down. Now Stokely. Stokely. He'll get the double if Taroko lets him. Taroko does not. Dino pops one up that will go harmlessly through the zone, but he also got a demo on Taroko, so that will hinder Chaos. Oh, another and Taroko taken out again by Dino. <laughs> Almost like he's just running back and forth yeah. trying to pick the spawn points. And now Calm just has that go to the corner. It's actually relatively easy to get a double demo in that situation. If you can manage to steal the corner boost and then just keep driving around, rotate out through the other corner, you might get lucky with the spawn over there and just find another demo. And it's so tilting if you're on the mentality side of Bullsend. A shot goes right at Dino and he's able to put the nose on the ball and Send one all the way back to the chaos side of the field, but only for a moment. Now Mektos, he's feeling it. To the ceiling, and he almost put that pass oh, exactly where demo. he needed to. Calm got the demo, but he had to back away from the play. Did not get the redirect coming off the corner. And that was a great chance, Calm, if he just kept with the ball. He might have been able to get another pass off, but here comes a demo. He's going to take that instead. And the physical play from Bolzen is really dominant. Unofficially, three demos in the last minute and a half for Bullsend trying to create almost a power play situation. Yeah. Taroko, he can play this off the backboard, but Stokely up the back wall to make sure he does not. Taroko trying to get a piece of calm on his way through, and calm very calmly sends it away. This will be right at Dino. And Stokely. We'll play it further downfield. Bull Send can regroup and get ready for another venture into the chaos zone. That wasn't a very good one. The first touch got away from Calm. Now Taroko loses control there. To the final minute, who will blink? Calm might have there as he misses. Corrupted G, though, was left in an awkward spot. He had Taroko oh. fly in front of him and Gabe did not expect that ball to drop down yeah. to him. And a so, lot of space as yep. well. I mean, Bullsend, they're, they're really bringing it to chaos in these last 40 seconds. Mekdos will just dump that one back in and go back for boost, almost like a hockey line change. Taroko with 30 to go. Big clear. Right, another one down to the Bullsend end of the field, but again, it's coming right wow. back. Back and forth they go. Someone's got to make a mistake, right? As Calm pops that ball up, Dino recovers along the back wall. That is intercepted by Mekdos, and Corrupted G is up for this quickly, but he's pushed it wide. No follow-up from Taroko. And Corrupted G had a shot there. Five seconds left. The pressure's still on for Chaos. Mekdos can't connect anything. They're going to let it drop. And now we have overtime here in game two. Bullsen trying to make a comeback and, and respond to that first game. At one point, I think Dino was the only player on the ground sitting inside the net just going, please don't hit it yeah. my way. Corrupted G from the ceiling, and it's sent away by Calm. He's got to save your medal. And now he might have an assist on the game winner from Stokely, if not for the efforts of Mektos. Another shot from Calm. That's blocked by Taroko. 
Lots of saves to go around between Chaos and Bullsend in a game with huge implications up and down the standings. Back to Os. He is free. He got the flip reset. Away. And he will score! What? Mectos in OT! What a play from Mectos. This was beautiful. He had so much space in the air. He goes under the ball. Mectos, you monster. What an aerial ability. I mean, I can't believe he hit that. That was nuts. That is what we've come to expect from Mectos when he is on his what? game. What a performance. And just look at the saves. They yeah. speak for themselves. And there's an OT play. goal for you. Yeah, 16 total saves between Bullsend and Chaos Esports Club. Wow. Six coming from Calm alone. He did everything he could on the defensive end yeah. to give Bullsend a chance, but it was not to be. And I love the decision-making from Mektos in the final moments. He had, okay, he recognized all the space in the air, right? And then he takes it up, and it would have been so easy for him to go for a, you know, a backboard hit or some kind of double touch to, to keep it safe. But it's, it's literally an overtime. The, the stakes are so high, and he says, you know what? I see all this space. I'm going to take it. He had the confidence to even go for the flip reset, but other than that, he actually hits it, which is the impressive part. I mean, come on, Mektos, what a way to finish overtime. And Chaos now, they're, they're up 2-0. This is a strong start and something different than what we've seen so much. It's, it's a common habit to see the, the, uh, excuse me, the team that doesn't go up in the first game just instantly just, uh, respond back and destroy the team, but it's, it's not happening. By the way, my favorite stat of the day, I finally get to, we've been talking about overtimes a lot and yeah. records and such. That was Chaos's 11th overtime of the season. They're now 7-4. and four. They've played... 25 minutes and 32 seconds of overtime this season. That's that's too much overtime. Full send, that, by the way, 0-3 in overtime. Yeah. They've now played a minute and 26. I mean, if you're chaos, I, I would be losing hair at that point. Overtime's one of the most stressful parts about Rocket League. And yet, they hit probably one of the most impressive shots of the season. Mektos coming in clutch. And now Taroko got a bump on Calm, and he floats this one in. Chaos in front, six seconds in. Again, so much space, a back left kickoff strategy from Chaos. He makes use of it, not by hitting the ball, but actually going for the demo, Taroko. <laughs> that was just being a bully. Scraping the bottom of the barrel and going deep into yeah. the bag of tricks. Chaos Esports Club have saved their best for last as they are up 2-0 in the series on Bulls End. And now they're up in game Woo! three. They're up a pair as what? Taroko just waves his magic wand yet again. Look at this, Taroko. Thank you for the angle and thank you for the space. I don't know how we managed to hit that. Somehow I saw him going for it. Normally you expect to pass from that type of angle and the way he's approaching it, but he hits it. And that, that's another highlight play from Chaos. It's another highlight play from Taroko as he has been on fire throughout this series. Mektos scoring that overtime winner, I believe the only goal he has this series. Chiroko now, giving away to Kong. Here comes Bullsend, they got a demo wow. that took out Corrupted G, and Stokely scores a banger. And they respond with physical plays, the demo. Bullsend, they're really the only team right now that are utilizing that, that opponent, or that, uh, excuse me, that mentality of just chasing a team or the opponent. That's really what you got to do is just chase the other guy down the field, try and create an opening, and they're doing just that. It will be Chiroko to send one out, and now he and Corrupted G are both up the back wall for this. And Chiroko landed awkwardly in the goal. There it is. Easy pickings for Calm, but Stokely missed the open shot. Missed opportunity to say the least for Bull Send as they still trail by one and Corrupted G almost made him pay. Now Dino intercepted by Corrupted G. Chaos looked like they were going to concede two goals very quickly. Yeah. Instead, they've only conceded one and now they've had a little more time on the offensive end. That could be coming to a screeching halt, though. Dino coming on. He does not score. 
This team turtle, Bull Send, they've scored three goals, all three coming from Stokely. Yeah. And it's just been a goal in each game. And a lot of them have been, you know, with the demos, the physical play, bumping, being a bully against that defense. And they're trying to create openings, and it's working relatively well. But sometimes it comes down to a pressure shot where you have to hit an open net. And they haven't been doing so. No. Well. What a pass. Are no. you serious? What? Taroko in the air, what? the air dribble, and then he gets it off the backboard. Are you kidding me? That is all right. Spectacular. All right, I, I understand. I see, I see the abilities they have. They're showing off for us in this game. You know, I don't think we're getting a five gamer out of this. Yeah. One. Corrupted G to the corner. There is still a lot of Rocket League to be played, though. And Bull Send, they can come back, but. That's got to be demoralizing to see Jeroko and Mekto score the, go the yeah. kind of goals that they have in this series. How do you combat that? I mean, a lot of it as a player is you just have to kind of, it's all about how well you can shake off a goal like that. You see somebody get an incredible shot, something so mechanically driven, you know, like the Mekto shot or, or anything like Taroko using the air dribble to get a pass off the backboard. Nobody expected that. And as a player, you just have to respond and just, you know, wipe it off your shoulders. Just shrug it off. That's all it is. Taroko got a late break on this ball, and Dino finally adds to the scoring for Bull Sand. And here comes Bosco's boys. And a poor clear from Gabe trying to use the corner. Dino, he's coming through. It's a banger off the crossbar. Closing that gap, it's 3 2. 2 11 to go. Bull Sand not dead just yet. Yeah. Taroko, like, hoping Corrupted Another could demo. get there. There's a decent challenge by Calm. Stokely can only pop this up. Needed a second touch, didn't get it. But Dino can almost walk this in. He had to deal with Taroko at the end. Easier said than done. Calm will circle around and bring this down. Now he's looking to start a highlight reel of his own. Dino. Out of the corner. Here comes Stokely. Got the challenge, but Mektos makes the save. Not done yet, though. Dino, another strong pass down to Calm. That is blocked away by Corrupted G. One on one with Stokely. And it's open. Dino had to side flip away. That is not a good ball, but it is worked out in the end, at least for the yeah. moment. And Calm makes that save. And nobody expected that side flip, but now Corrupted G getting a good response with the demo. That's what you want to see, respond to the bully play and be as aggressive, especially whenever you have Bulls and, you know, trying to, to collect something, which they're doing so well of, trailing by one, and they're starting to put heat on chaos. Stokely will pop this away, but it is away from Calm, and Dino was on his way back to the net. Now Taroko trying to weave his way through aerial traffic. Final 45. It is oh, Calm. No. Trying to show Turoko. one up here on Taroko and Corrupted G. Hasn't worked out. Good pass in front, but Dino was on his way back. By the time he turned, it was too late. Gom got a piece of Taroko, and Mektos has to scramble in front. Here comes Stokely to tie, and he's blocked by Corrupted G. And look at the passive play from Chaos. Everybody's so passive. I mean, the respect is coming out from Chaos against Bosen. And so many shots, but there's a double commit. That's not ideal at all. Bull send final seconds right now. Yeah, Dino saw Stokely had that ball. Didn't think he had another touch. I'm not sure Stokely knew if he had another touch, but a miss is costly. And Taroko, the Grim Reaper, finishes what? the hat trick. This is how the game is going to end. Taroko just capitalizing on so much space. The over aggression from Bull send. You can't blame them for wanting to try and find the equalizer. And three seconds left, Chaos, they've done it with, with such great mechanical abilities. Like I, I'm still in shock at all the goals we saw. A spectacular performance from Mektos and Taroko.